Hello, back again. Uh, in the last episode, we've just beaten another battle here, rather comfortably. Plenty of snowballs happening, plenty of snipers doing the hard work, and we've just unlocked the missile tower. Uh, we've also unlocked a talent that gives us two additional cards at the start of each battle, which means we have more to build with at the first wave. And uh, we're just about to hit an altar, so let's see what that does for us. Present offerings receive the altar's blessing. Okay, so I can trade in some of my crystals to restore health points, which I actually might do. Uh, I can receive a relic. When the fire source is attacked and its HP reaches zero, consume all your ember stones and heal one HP for every 10. Okay, so it's a bit of a, a last stand kind of deal. Remove a card from your backpack. I see. So I've got some double ups here and I might not like those. I can remove those and increase the chances of a better card coming out. Typical deck builder sort of uh, concept. Or increase maximum health points by five. I don't mind that. Can I take these more than once is the question. And will this heal me by five at the same time? And can I... Hmm. I'll get this one first just in case. In case I'm... Yep, yeah, okay. Lucky. So I thought I might have had a couple of choices there. But I only get one. So lucky I went with that one. Alright. So not much else we can do at this point. Can't unlock any other talents here so I might just go for the boss okay finally you've reached the last level ahead is a monster guarding the gate defeat it to advance to the next area okay there's more areas that's good to know the guards of the arrow tower will help you buy some time quickly prepare your defenses and you can also use the minecart to weaken the boss's strength what is happening here all right so they're potentially very good for us although only single uh single space towers and they will cruise up here i oh, yeah, do a drive by on the boss and then disappear lots of corrupted tiles which we don't want to build on and what's that four five portals sending monsters through the gate and these guys i think it said will provide a little bit of supporting fire so I have $75 to play with. Do I <laughs> just go chaos mode and get a missile tower to start? Mm, maybe not. Uh, what I think I will do... Attack power and range are doubled. Does it make sense to use lightning towers there just to really clear up groups? I really don't know what we're up against here. Maybe I'll hope for some good rolls on these. That's terrible. And that's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I might even turn this area into a bit of a maze before they hit the front. Although this is where all the buff towers will be. Wouldn't mind just sort of siphoning, siphoning the monsters into... A single path. I'll do it the other way, and then we're more likely to get hit by this tower. And this small, it's only going to be relevant for the first little round or two, but I think it, you know, any little bit helps. the opposite version of that, don't we? Might. I'll leave it at that for now. And just pray that our minecarts can do some good work for us. What are they doing? They come up here. They fire a couple of shots. Oh, he's moving. Okay. Oh. I see. He moves and he attacks. Slightly terrifying. Rip to the uh, sacrificial person we've got in this tower, anyway. Right, Minecart's doing drive bys, they're keeping the riffraff out at least. Um, but that is terrifying. We need some ranged 
tower as quickly. Can't afford a snowball tower just yet. Is it worth... I think I will do this. Just double damage, double range means they're not completely useless. Um, I'll save some locks, maybe. Will I just fortify this a little bit? We'll have more room for some. Two by two towers in the next round. A little dicey boy right here. Okay, not unhappy with that. Rolled a six, so that's going to do a little bit of damage at least. What sort of HP has he got? Uh oh. Come on, self defense. Jeez, they're getting in way too strong. Yeah, no, I can't rely on these mine cards for much longer. Or at all. <laughs> That's disappointing. I thought we might have had a bit more wiggle room. Right, so here's the question. What a range have you got? I don't know. I, I love the snowball tower, but I don't hate the idea of a missile tower. Because there wasn't that many getting through yet. Visions. Although, something like this here does damage, slows down, gives the minecarts more chance to hit. I think I just have to do that just to be uh, responsible, <laughs> safe. Um, and I can't really, I didn't think this through, but I can't actually route these guys through a maze here because the tracks won't let me build, so that plan is out the window. But I could potentially turn this into a bit of a maze. Seems like a waste of blocks. I could easily just do this. Stick with that for now. I'll save twenty dollars. Hopefully, that won't cost me in the long run. Nope. How far are you from being in range? Okay. So we've got some tanky dudes coming in already. One my cart for your work. That's painful. reassuring at least. A few more coming. Come on, snowballs, do your work. Yeah, I think I made the right choice with the snowball tower at least. But I'm wondering whether I should have been doing more damage to this guy already because he's barely taken a scratch. Now is the time for the missiles to shine. Maybe a sniper as well. Hmm. Definitely another snowball. Can I block this off? Ah, oh, that is blocked, so I don't need to, okay. 
It's just a little dead end, so they're going to come in here. So if I plug this hole... They're going this way, and then we've got potentially two high damage towers here. Maybe I should lay the groundwork to get them... Accessible. And next turn I could potentially have two 2x2s two twos, uh, doing extra damage to anything that makes it through this little section. I just realised how dumb this was because one stomp from a from an enemy will disable everything. And I will be literally defenceless. But that's okay. Maybe get that there just for future proofing. Um, I will sell you because you are useless. I might just go for another tower there. And do I want to spend my last dollars on. Oh, look, I think I will just. Oh, disappointing. This is a little last resort. Hopefully, I won't need it. But now we're doing damage to this guy. Oh, I just realised he's probably going to kill these, isn't he? Now here come the uh, tanks. I'm just going to disable everything in one go, and we are screwed. That's no, not too bad. This is random, isn't it? Yep, so he's just going to hit not necessarily the strongest or the closest, he's just going to hit anything he can reach. Um, so yeah, not really dependable. I should have learned my lesson from the first time I tried to use that, but anyway. Hoping that the uh, Snowball Towers can still do enough to get this done. I hope that's hmm, not indicative of <laughs> my progress here. Maybe I should have been focusing on him more, but you know, it's our first attempt. Don't really know any better at this stage. Um, but these are all at, at risk uh, right now, aren't they? Potentially. I'm going to put a sniper here. And for good measure, I'm going to put a sniper here. Will I regret it? Maybe. And this guy fit in narrow gaps. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Just throwing blocks at him. Um, fire tower there, I guess, and see what happens. Scary. Please don't kill my snowball tower. I need him. Oh, we've got one more tower here to soak up some punishment first, thankfully. And I just realised my snipers won't be hitting any of these because they'll be purely focused on the boss. And that doing some good work. Well, that's meaningless if we're letting these guys through. Really relying on these snowball towers to carry here. Good. We might not be in danger here, after all. And again. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, no. Okay. It's worse than I thought. So this is instant, yeah, instantly going to get serious because we've got him probably going to kill these and they're our really real only defense. So... Hmm. I could simply... Can I build on that wall? No, damn it. Okay. Um... 
That's okay. I could really bolster that defense. Do love my snowball towers. Well, <laughs> kind of plug that up. Just hopefully, buy these guys a bit more time, um, and just pray that I've done enough. I wonder if I really should have <laughs> actually taken advantage of these, or even routed their monsters this way a bit more. But anyway, we're here now. What's he going to do? Is he going to try and punch his way through? No, he's going to follow the path. I thought these towers were toast. Tell you what. Firing any leaks. Uh, we might be okay. Although, no. I think there's too many now. So yeah, for a while I was thinking that the boss would be the real threat, but really, focusing on the boss has let all these little things through, and that might be what ends it for us. So bring up the sniper off, this has helped a lot. Damn. Defeated. First attempt at the boss though, and it's good to know what to expect. And I don't know whether the next area will be part of the demo, but um, it's good to know there's more to the game as well. Um, so yeah, if you haven't played this yet, um, it's on Steam. The demo is available, releasing a bit later in the year. Uh, if you're a Tower Defense fan, definitely want to give it give a go. So uh, recommend it. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time.